Bulgaria, uh, was purchased at Bulgari in 1962, was an engagement present from Richard Burton for their first wedding. Mm -hmm. And the necklace was purchased in 64 when they did get married in Montreal. Okay, I think this is absolutely stunning and there's no way anybody's going to say no if somebody's proposing with that, right? There you are. <laughs> you know, Richard Burton, Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth Taylor, I mean, the greatest love story in Hollywood, so how could you say no? The diamond in this necklace was a gift from 17th century emperor Shah Jahan to his wife. The other famous gift to her was the Taj Mahal, built in her honor. And centuries later, it ended up in the hands of, you guessed it, Richard Burton. Who gifted it to Miss Taylor on her 40th birthday. Think about it. The greatest love story in 17th century India to the greatest love story in Hollywood. Hello, boys. Are you paying attention? The sotuar that you see there is by Bulgari with a 52-carat sapphire. It was also a gift along with the Taj Mahal diamond in 1972 when she turned 40. Wait, wait, wait. She got two necklaces for turning 40 like that? When you're as beautiful as Miss Taylor, one is never enough. Wow. Give us to get the scoop on items up for bed. I haven't given you my present yet, but I will now. The collection is valued around $30 million, but the stories behind these gems are priceless. Miss Taylor was by the poolside in the south of France. She was there, you know, it was a great sunny day. In comes Mike Todd in his swim shorts with red carty boxes under his arm, and he opens them up and starts putting all of this jewelry on her. And how happy does she get? She jumped in the pool, pulled him in with her, and started doing laps with all of this Cartier jewelry on her. Talk about a Hollywood moment. Next up on the auction block, the perfect accessory for Hollywood royalty. Given to her by her third husband, Mike Todd, in 1957, this 19th century diamond tiara. He very sweetly said to her, Elizabeth, you are my queen, so you must have a crown. And his movie, Around the World in 80 Days, won the best picture that year. And so she went to the Academy Awards, and she wore this crown for her king. Also up for bid is the famous 16th century La Peregrina pearl necklace. Once owned by Napoleon's brother, Joseph Bonaparte, the Duke of Abercorn, the Spanish royal family, and eventually Richard Burton, who gifted it to Taylor for Valentine's Day. In terms of the selection, you have the best rubies, the best emeralds, the best sapphires. Other treasures among the collection include Andy Warhol paintings and some of Taylor's memorable fashions. Truly a collection that dates back from the 16th century to present day with the finest of everything and great romantic moments in life. Anyone want to bid on that crown for me? I will take it. Now, the collection of Elizabeth Taylor is being auctioned December 13th at Christie's in New York, but it can be seen on tour in select cities now. For more info, head online to reels.com slash dailies.